to the kids' reading vlog. <laughs> There's so much energy. Uh. Hello, and welcome to this week's reading vlog. It is October 7th, 2019, at like 9.46 specifically in the morning. There was no reading vlog last week. I know you guys were kind of mad at me because I said there was going to be one, but honestly, I started it. I did start it. And then halfway through the week, I was like, I'm not doing anything. This is going to be so boring. All I've been doing is homework. So I scrapped it. This week, today, I have a math presentation in my math class and I am terrified of it because we all know your girl is not a math person, she struggles completely, and now I have to go teach a lesson, so I'm very scared for it, but I must say that my worksheet that I created for it is beautiful, chef's kiss. I'll show you guys it, insert that clip now. So this is the worksheet that I created for the presentation. I'm actually like weirdly proud of it, not gonna lie. It like actually looks like something you would get in school, right? Right? But I'm actually really nervous about the presentation, but I picked something that's like super easy. So hopefully I don't suck. We'll see though. So I mean, at least I'll get marks for my worksheet. It's a super easy activity. It's on integers, which are like positive negative numbers. So I'm having them flip a coin. If it lands on tails, you get plus one. If it lands on heads, you get negative one. You have to record it in that chart that I made. And then at the end, you tally up your final score and whoever has the highest score wins. Easy peasy. That's why I did plus one, negative one, because your girl can do that. And so I put a number line on the side as well, just to like help me personally, because I'm a very visual learner. I need that number line because I'll mess it up, you know? So that's what's happening, but that's not until 11. So I still got some time. I also just filmed my TED talk for my baking show thing that's been going on, because in class we're doing this thing called Genius Hour, which we were allowed to research whatever we wanted and basically make a project out of it. So I chose baking cookies because what better excuse to bake a shit ton of cookies than a project. I had to film a TED talk all about baking cookies. So you guys will probably see that up soon as well as the four Baking with Jay episodes. So now that you all know that's what that was all about, it's not a regular thing. I mean, I guess I could make it a regular thing if you guys want me to. Let me know down below because I'm always baking anyways. So why not film it? I mean, it's fun. I guess I should update you on my reading since this is a reading vlog. I am currently listening to Going Bovine by Libba Bray. I'm only at like 40 pages in, 32. I'm 32 pages in and I don't really like it so far. It's just not my cup of tea. It's about this 16 year old named Cam who finds out that he's sick and then he gets like an angel person to like look over him and she's like super loopy and a possible hallucination with a bad sugar habit and she tells him that there's a cure for this illness and then he finds some death obsessed video gaming dwarf named Gonzo and a yard gnome who just might be the viking god Baldur. and I, I just I don't know I'm only 30 pages in so maybe it'll get better but so far not a fan and then Technically, I'm supposed to start Eight Will Fall by Sarah Harian. I'm supposed to read this for review by November 25th, so I figured I would start it now. Um, I said that two weeks ago when I finished Wilder Girls, and I've yet to pick it up. I'm literally on page one, so we're not doing so well, but, you know, I have a lot of schoolwork, okay? I have a lot of schoolwork. So, in my bathroom, we have a shower curtain. And I was going to go shower this morning and I went to like put the shower curtain across and it just fell on my head. So now I'm concussed and um, I've had my seventh concussion officially. <laughs> Do you guys want to see? I'll show you it. Look at this. This is the devil shower curtain that fell on my head. It was a great time. It really hurt. So then I used my parents' bathroom because it hurt my head. Hello! It is after presentation time. Nothing bad happened. Nobody told me I was crazy, so that's good. Were you shit in your pants? Yes, I was shivering the whole time. You know when you're nervous and you just shiver? I was like trying to talk and my teeth are like chattering. <laughs> but first you have small groups and you have to present your whatever thing you're doing. And then they do whatever the activity is. And then you go in front of the entire class and you have to say what your activity was and then 
the group that you presented to has to say like what they liked about your activity and like what was good and blah 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 to everybody's was very much harder than mine and I was just like well I'm not good at math so I tried to find the easiest one possible so did this you, is my activity did you say that yes oh. <laughs> she just started laughing oh okay but I was just like I tried to pick the easiest one possible because I'd actually be able to explain it and teach it to the kids and if they had an ex like a question I could actually answer it because it was literally just positive one negative one and then I said, like, you could make it harder if you change the numbers. Like, if you wanted a positive five or a negative five or whatever, negative seven, you could just change the numbers. And everybody was very surprised that it was for grade sevens. Because it seemed too easy? No, because everybody just assumed that it would be really early on. Like, with everybody's activity, nobody was like, oh, yeah, grade seven. Because, like, that's when integers get right. put into the curriculum. But, like, when you're thinking, like positive and negative numbers aren't hard then we started talking about like we were doing examples in class and i couldn't do half of them and i was just like seriously grade seven seriously because it was like negative eight minus negative three and i was like oh negative nine or whatever negative eight you know right well, not 11. nine negative 11 and they were like but no because it's a negative, it's negative like, five. yeah it's negative five okay, and i was like two oh. negatives make a positive i'm not a math person i literally Neither was sitting I, there but I, yeah but you math. don't have a disability mom <laughs> the point is i was fucked so um i'm gonna teach your children math Woo! i'm such a hufflepuff mommy's taking her lovely sorting <laughs> what are you most looking forward to learning at hogwarts apparition and dis Parishion, being able to materialize and dematerialize at will. Ooh, transfiguration, turning one object into another. All about magical creatures and how to befriend and care for them. Every area of magic I can. A magical creature, but they could be scary though. Yeah, but I was like, I just want to be like Hagrid. <laughs> the idea of flying is pretty cool. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. See, I don't want to befriend a a dragon like i think that'd be terrifying i would yeah but all these animals aren't nice animals so if you befriend them they can be nice is that your theory yes which of the following would you like most to study this was what i got in like the first centures goblins oh yeah i got that one in the mer people are they good mers or bad mers you don't know ghosts vampires werewolves trolls god they're all creepy I said werewolf because they're like a dog. Yeah, that makes sense. And I like doggos. We love technology in this house. No, we're stupid. Now what do I do? What does it tell you to do? Nothing. It just says other pets still. You didn't pick it then. I did. I can't get it. <laughs> Give it. I just want to show you. Morning hat is ready to make a decision. Hold up your phone and tap below to begin. What? Oh, I'm difficult. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> You're slow. Just. Oh. Just. Loyal. Yep, you're a puff. Puffy, puffy, puff. Patient. No. Yeah, that's a hard no on that one, Mr. <laughs> Sorting Hat. <laughs> Hi, it's now Tuesday. Um, It's like 1.40. I have a class at 2, but I'm like early, so I'm just sitting in the car because I don't like going in early and just sitting there because... I get bored really easily and I would rather just sit in my car because I'm anti-social. <laughs> I have a presentation in this class um, on learning disabilities and it's really easy. Like all we have to do is read a chapter and then I have to lead a discussion. So I have to like come up with five questions based off of the reading that we did and I have to like pose them to the group. So it's not a hard presentation. I just don't have the motivation today to do it well, you know? Like I'm just in a blah mood. I don't really know why. I just am... Um, I think because it's so close to our reading week, like next week is reading week, that I just don't care about anything right now because I just know that I'm going to get a week off and I'll actually get to sleep. I was also up at 4 o'clock this morning for no apparent reason and I was up at 4 a.m. yesterday morning too because apparently when it's 4 a.m. my body is like, time to wake up! Love that for me. So I'm just like really overly tired so I have no motivation to do anything. But tomorrow I get to go to placement which I'm excited about because I get to see my little grade four, five split class. I love them so much. They're so cute. And I work at the rec center that's like across the street from the school. So I walked into the classroom and they were all like, Jay! And I was like, oh wow. So like half the kids in my class are kids that I already know, which is kind of awesome because like I'm already comfortable with them. So I feel like it's a lot easier to 
teach them because they already know me, I already know them, I kind of know their personalities already. So it's been really good so far. I've only been once though, so I mean, I don't know if that counts as knowing them yet in a school setting. I know them in a rec setting, so. That's tomorrow though. I wish it was every day because I would rather be going into the school and actually learning things because honestly I feel like I have not learned anything in teacher's college so far other than how to blog. It's so much blogging and like that's not going to help me when I'm in a classroom. But I guess I should probably start walking to class now because it's like a 10 minute walk where I'm parked from because I don't park in the parking lot because that costs me money and I'm cheap and I also can't parallel park so I have to find like an open spot which means really far away from the school. Hello! It's Wednesday morning. I'm eating popcorn for breakfast. We're going to my placement. I'm an adult! And then it's 50% off day at Value oh, Village yeah. for books. Oh, bye, ah! Mail time, mail time. This is from London, England. This is from Vic James. She's an author. She's an author. She wrote The Gilded Cage. I bet you it's Tarnished City. Tarnished City, Bright right. Ruins. Is this the third book in yeah. the series? Yes. Cool. So now I have the whole trilogy. Thank you. And a little note. It says, hello, Jayanne. Hope you love seeing how the story ends. Then, this came today. This is from Simon & Schuster. Look how I get to do the unboxing now. I mean, everybody loves you, so... Dear JN, I'm so excited to be sending you this arc. I can't wait to hear what you think, and don't worry, the post-it note will make sense soon. Happy reading, Alice. What? It says Amanda. Oh, okay. The post-it note will make sense soon. Woman on the Edge. She gave you her baby, and then she jumped. Oh, dear. Oh. Okay, well, you enjoy that, Amanda. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello! Bobby said, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Hello! Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Today is Friday. I filmed absolutely nothing yesterday because I wasn't in the mood, and I went from school straight to work, so that's not fun entertaining. <laughs> That's not good content. <laughs> yeah. The sun is really bright. This is a problem. Even though there's sunglasses up here. Shut your dirty, stinking mouth. <laughs> Today, I get to go play with robots with my grade four or five class at the library. So I'm excited. And then I have to go to work. What are you doing? <laughs> Games in, in the three days that we were there, and the one game was at um, noon. So then after that game, hello, goats were canceled. So we went to go see Eliason, who's back from university, and her dog named Ruckus, who is my best friend in the whole wide world. It's now Friday, and I figured I should probably do a reading update since I have not updated you guys since like Monday when I first started this vlog. So for going bovine, I'm still hating it. I'm now 190 pages in, and it's just like not for me. Like, I guess I'm like halfway, but I just really don't like it at all. So I've been avoiding reading it, but I started the other book that I held up, The Eight Will Fall. Uh, it's downstairs in my backpack because I brought it to work yesterday. So I'm not going to go get it, but it is actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be. So it's about this world where magic has been outlawed. The magic system in this book is like empaths, so they're able to take other people's emotions and either conjure things or destroy things. So apparently there is a monster like wreaking havoc on the 
town. So the queen decides that she's going to send criminals into the cave where this monster lives and they basically have to kill the monster before it destroys the land. But if they are unsuccessful, then the people closest to them die. So basically it's like a threatening thing. And so they're in the cave right now. I'm like, I think 180-ish pages in from what I remember. But it's actually, like I said, a lot better than I thought it was going to be. It was very slow at the beginning, so I was very hesitant, but now that they're like actually in the cave, like looking for this monster, it's actually getting a lot better. So I'm gonna guess it's either gonna be a three or a 3.5 star for me. I'm not 100% sure. But plans for today, it is 8.50. Ricardo's coming to pick me up and we're going for breakfast. And then I have work from 12 to 5 15 is actually the elections in Canada right now so I'm working the elections I mean it's like a really easy shift because I don't have to do anything I have to point people and go go down the hall to go vote and that's about my whole shift so that kind of sucks just because it's very boring and nothing to do and I'm on my reading week right now so it's not like I have homework to do because we're on reading week but I mean I guess I could start my homework for like two weeks in advance, but do I really wanna do that? No, so I'm not going to, I'll probably just read the whole time. After work though is my Thanksgiving dinner because it's also Thanksgiving for Canada this weekend. And then I get to go play with goats. So that's what I'm looking forward to, turkey dinner, cranberry sauce, we love cranberry sauce in this house, and then goats. Hello, how are you today? They have all the things that they can climb and jump all over, right? There's so many of them. Hello. They're saying, let us go watch the movie. Oh. <laughs> I like the stragglers behind. They're trying so hard. Go! You're doing amazing. I have a goat. His name is Ishi or Scratchy. We are not sure which. Honestly, but I'm saying Scratchy because he likes the scratches. He likes scratches, but he's just chilling with me for the whole movie, right? Right. Say hi, mom. This is Ross. We thought his name was Itchy or Scratchy, but apparently it's Ross. And um, it's my least favorite character. And she's he married loves now. Me the most. And I'm married now, and we're gonna divorce at the end of this movie. Huh. You, however, Just seem to be our size. Hi, I don't even know if you guys are gonna be able to see me because it is like not even sunny out yet it's nighttime basically it's 6 54 i'm waiting to go into work but i'm early and i don't want to be the first one in even though i'm the first one in no matter what but the elections people are waiting for me at the door and i'm like mm -mm, i won't deal with you until i have to so today i work 7 a.m to 2 45 and then ricardo's coming over because it's his birthday so i'm gonna give him his presents and cookies and brownies and all that shit that you do on people's birthdays but he's 25 now he's a little old bugger when I'm at work I'm probably just going to be reading the eight will fall book I'm like 260 pages in now I think I only have like a hundred or so more pages left like 150 probably so that's the plan all day at work today because nothing's going on but elections and like pickleball and parent and taught gym and then basketball so like easy setups we're hopefully gonna get that book done and then i'll update you guys once i'm off of work to see how far i got but we might have a book done we'll see <laughs> He's yours now. He's the new poop hat. That's why I asked you which one's better, <laughs> Goku or Gohan. She's Gohan. I, I thought you liked Goku better. They're both good, but Gohan. You told me Goku was better. But they're awesome, but Gohan too. I don't know which one. <laughs> it depends on which one, like what era. Okay. Because Gohan, when he's older, sucks. I was like, which one's better? And you're like, Goku? I was like, shit. Oh my God, he got me a whole pack of chocolate pudding. <laughs> These are gonna be gone in like half a day. Their oatmeal chocolate chip. Yes. <laughs> Doubled up this year. Is that telling you something? 
<laughs> you smell bad. Like pennies. It's true. Like Your breath pennies. smells like pennies. Really? It's weird. I know you told me not to, but I already bought them before you told me not to. No, I so... think we told you not to, so we went out and bought them. I was going to split it into threes, like you said I'd have to ration it, but then I just never did. So you get a whole bag. <laughs> These are going to be my snack of choice for the next, like, Do I minutes. need to ration them for you? Uh, no. Do you need to? Yes. Do I want you to? No. No. You bought me desk training? Well, I'm going to when it comes out. Holy shit. I'm literally talking today about pre-ordering it, but... Well, not anymore. But it's not out yet, so I was like, I'll just no, print a picture it's off. It's not November yet. No. So Ricardo just left. I gave him his presents for his birthday, but he has to go hang out with his parents because they, like, dibsed him for the night, which... Whatever, it's fine. Parents are important. But I finished at work, eight will fall. And I ended up giving it a three out of five stars. I just think like the pacing was kind of weird and I didn't really connect with any of the characters, but like the horror aspect of it was like a huge highlight for me. There was a lot of gore and like blood and creepy creatures in there. I'm actually gonna have a full review of this up on November 25th. So like it's a bit away, but I read it for the publisher for review. So that will be up and then you'll get my full thoughts, but three out of five. But now I'm going to go film some videos because I have books all over my room that I need to haul And I'm also supposed to be doing like a lot of Halloween videos that I just have not filmed because I just like have not been in the mood to do anything with my life So that's a problem, but I'm gonna end the vlog now so that I can edit it have it up by tomorrow And then I'm gonna film some videos. So thank you for joining me for this week There will probably be a reading vlog next week because I'm actually on my reading week now So I am not doing school 24 7 and I I refuse to do any of my work even though it's reading week we're not doing it so i'll see ya in my next video goodbye